everybody and welcome to another episode of what did I get myself into hope everybody had a fantastic Easter uh, April is here and summer is right around the corner so thanks again for watching another episode I wanted to share a couple PSAs if you guys don't mind uh, first and foremost is discord uh, you guys hear me talk about discord all the time it's been an amazing resource for me the community is comprised of puzzle makers uh, puzzle designers puzzlers uh, experienced puzzlers and newbies just like myself but it has been an absolute uh, godsend for me it's just an incredible resource uh, it's free but i wanted to just do a small request for any of the current members or anybody that thinks about joining. A lot of people don't know that you can contribute to our Discord channel. And it just helps the channel grow, uh, add new features. Uh, it helps the folks like Puzzling Time, AJ Hippo, uh, Selkis. Uh, they're a few of the administrators, but they do an amazing job running this channel uh, and just making sure that us the puzzlers the members are are happy and, and we're a pretty uh picky bunch uh so i just wanted to say thank you to discord and it got and again if you guys are, are members or you think about joining it's free but you can contribute and it just helps the channel grow uh, so i just wanted to say thank you to them um also myself i i i'm so thankful that all you guys watch um if you don't mind please like subscribe to the channel share with your friends you'd be surprised how many people you might know uh, of six degrees of separation that like puzzles just like yourself uh, but share the channel uh, subscribe to it it just lets youtube know that people at least a couple of them like what i'm doing so again thanks for watching now without further ado i have a very exciting puzzle here um I'm always scouring the internet for for new puzzles, uh, looking through Etsy, Facebook, uh, really any avenue that I can go down to find puzzles and learn about puzzle makers. Uh, I'm going down that road. Um, several months ago, I came across a site. It's Metal Puzzles UK, uh, and it's owned by a fellow named Philip Wigfield. Uh, and he has three puzzles on his site. It, and I've told Philip this, I, I was a little bit discouraged because some of the photos weren't that great. Uh, I know he's making a lot of improvements now. He's gaining a lot of popularity, but I was a little bit discouraged from, I was always intrigued. And then I'd say probably a month ago, people on Discord started showing up with these puzzles. They were showing mail calls and they were talking about this puzzle now. And so for people that aren't experienced like myself, that just helped validate it. And, and then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, now I want it. <laughs> so I reached out to Philip and I told him, hey, I'd love your puzzle. I want to learn more about it. And it just so happened he came across my channel and said, hey, I love your channel. Um, so I said, listen, if you ever want me to do a video for you, and, and this is the case for anybody, I'll do a video for anybody. Um, send me a puzzle. If you need it back, I'll be more than happy to send it back. And Philip is just a stand-up guy. He did a step better. He said, I'll send you a puzzle. And when you're done with it, donate it to the Discord library. And what that is, is people, I, you know, I've donated several puzzles myself, but it gives an opportunity for other people who may not be able to buy a puzzle or if it's sold out uh, to put their names on a list. And when it's their turn, they get this puzzle and they get to solve it. And when they're done, they send it to the next person. So not only did Philip send me a puzzle that I can solve and play with and share with you guys, when I'm done, it's going to go to the Discord library and go to the next person on the list. This puzzle here, 
I'm really excited. It's called Sticky Barrel. And it comes in this beautiful display box. It's got this lined uh, kind of felt material. But this puzzle, it is weighted. It's, it's, you definitely know that this is a, a piece of metal when you get it. Um, what's nice about Phillips puzzles is that they are all handmade. He doesn't use a CNC machine. Uh, he hand makes these on a lathe. It starts off with a solid piece of brass and I believe this part right here is steel. Um, I'm gonna switch this camera here. But it comes in this display box and this is it. Uh, there's a couple screws that hold everything together. Um, I just thought right off the bat when I first held it, the quality is really phenomenal. And to know that he hand makes these on a lathe, uh, it really just shows uh, not only is he a great puzzle maker, uh, but his craftsmanship is, is pretty superb. The goal on this puzzle is to remove this rod here. Uh, there are no external tools needed. There's no magnets, no force. Um, but the goal is to take this out. So we are going to try to solve this. So spoiler alert, if you want to try to get this sticky barrel puzzle, uh, again, his Etsy site is Metal Puzzles UK. Uh, stop now. And if you want to watch me try to beat myself up with another puzzle, stick around. All right, so. When you try to pull this out, it, it clearly, I don't hear anything. I don't know if it's just the two pieces, the rod and then this, this we'll call it a barrel, but when you try to pull it out, there's something holding it up. don't really have an idea of the mechanism. I am always amazed when I see these puzzles. I don't know if there's something you catch. There's gotta be something on the end of this because all there is is this, this hole. Like I said, when you try to pull it out, something's stopping it. So my first guess is maybe there's sort of a, a disc that you need centrifugal force to open it and maybe pull it. So if I hold this rod, there's, there's no sounds. I don't know how many pieces are in here. turning this barrel and I'm trying to turn this as well just to see if there's something that will catch. I do know inside the puzzle and I don't know if you 
can read this, but thank you for purchasing the sticky barrel puzzle. The aim is to remove the stainless steel stick from the barrel. You do not need any external device such as magnets to solve the puzzle. As you can see, there are two small screws at the base, but these are only to be removed and as a very last resort. If you open up the base, please be careful of small parts. Yeah, that's definitely not something I want to do. Each puzzle is handmade, slight machine marks. Other than that, nothing that really helps. Yeah, I don't do well with small parts, so. What, that raises a question I always what small parts could be in here. No magnets to solve the puzzle. Sometimes names of a puzzle is a clue. I don't even know where to start. something keep reading these directions like it's gonna give me something I didn't see before <laughs> oh lordy yeah this is definitely what did I get myself into I had to take a quick break so I wrote Phil just to tell him that this is a pretty awesome puzzle and I have hit a brick wall. Um, I did not ask for a hint or a tip, nor did I get one. Um, he just said there's some logic to it. So when he said that, it made me start thinking about some of the puzzles that I solved. And without giving away too much or a spoiler, I thought about Revenge Lock. And there's a part there um, that I can relate to this. And if you've solved Revenge Lock, you might know what I'm talking about. So I think that has a mechanism or there's a process that is similar to this. And I just don't know where though. I think there's something inside. I know there's, I already know there's something connected here. 
there has to be something that lets this catch. And I don't know if it's a magnet. And I don't really even know the tube orientation. So this may take a while. So I'm turning this one while I turn this one. Just trying to see if my idea is right. It's just a tedious process to do this. You're shit. <laughs> Kidding me? Can I just turn it like this? It's caught. Oh my gosh! Oh! Holy crap! Thank you, William. <laughs> this is oh, that is clever. Great job, Philip. So there's a piece of metal inside that clearly this screws in and there's a pin and that's what I was expecting was that there's a pin somewhere in the tube and it'll drop in it when it drops in that stops that that part connected to this stops it from being able to spin freely which allows you to unscrew this so there are no magnets Inside there is a piece of metal that has threaded that allows this rod right here. Let me zoom in. So inside there's a mechanism or a piece of metal that's threaded that allows this rod to screw in. And there's a pin in it. And in this brass piece, there's a hole or a notch. Right there. Nice. So this is our mark for the top. When it gets in there, it allows you to unscrew your, your rod from the barrel. Don't lose your orientation. So I marked it here. But if you lose your orientation, you gotta find that spot again. So simply stick the stick back in. This is nice, Phil. Phil Whitfield, Metal Puzzles UK. Nice. Bam. Oh, Sticky Barrel by Phil Wickfield. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> there's a moment where you just, because there's only three, four parts on this now. Um, so finding that sweet spot, and I'll tell you, it's that, that one puzzle, um, Revenge Lock, really gave me a clue to try, and it worked. So, um, Every puzzle you solve, you just get more experience. So, um, and then you can apply it somewhere else. But thanks for watching. <laughs> what did I get myself into? This is Sticky Barrel by Phil Wickfield. 
um, Metal Puzzles UK. Uh, he's got three puzzles. Uh, they're all pretty awesome. Um, I hope to try all of them. Um, but thanks for watching what I get myself into. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, check out Discord. Thanks a lot. Bye.